Okay, this question called cycular uh, array rotation. Uh, so basically, you will have a function that accepts three arguments. Uh, the first one is an array of integers. The second one is the number of rotations. And the third one is the number of indices that you need to give, to map to the new value after the rotation. So for example, this one, 3, 4, 5, and the rotations is 2. So after the first rotation, uh, 5 will be the first element, and 3 the second one for the last one. After the second iteration, uh, rotation, sorry, 5, uh, 4, 5, 3 will become, the array will become. So you just uh, take the element from the end of the array, put it at the first, and just uh, shift everything to the side. That's it. Uh, and the new indices values will be 5 and 3. Originally, originally it was 4 and 5, now it's 5 and 3. Um, yeah. So this, I think it's really, really simple in JavaScript. It may be extremely simple. So I'll just remove my solution. I, I would, yeah, I will show it to you in VS Code. Uh, okay, let me delete everything. So first thing, uh, here is the function. A is the array of integers. K is the number of cycles. Uh, qu queries is the array with new indices. Uh, so first thing, I need to take each element, the last element from A, put it at the first for k times. So this is really easy. So array from uh, length of k. So I'm, this is how, this is a way to you, you can loop. Uh, I prefer this way over the for let i equal zero and things like this. So just create empty array. And what I will do, so a dot unshift will be equal to, will I will pass to it a dot pop. So pop will remove, will treat the array as a stack and remove the f the last element and retain it and and will modify the array itself. So pop will remove the last element, modify the array itself and just unshift will put it at the beginning. So that's it. So a, as you can see now, I, I'm I'm testing the first ex the example that we saw. So four, five, three, which is correct. And then then you need to return an array of the mapped new indices. So queries dot map and you just need to return a of i. That's it. As simple as that. Uh, where is the function? So yeah, let me run it. Let me submit. I'm pretty sure that you don't need to create a new array after the rotations. I'm pretty sure that someone find out uh, like an algorithm just to calculate the new the value of the new indices. So they like uh, mapped the new indices with the old indices somehow. Uh, so yeah, the our solution is correct. So let me just rate it. I'm I'm pretty sure that you can find something like this here. Just mapping the new without converting the array without doing anything like something weird mod divided by something whatever so yeah i would just look into it you can just go to the discussion and i'm pretty sure i will find something like this okay thank you